Hey, 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 hello everybody. We are playing yet another Victoria 2 Nation in our A2Z. This time it is Baban. We're actually going to be doing something interesting with this one for once. Baban is right here. It's a, it's a, no, it's right here. It's a puppet of the Ottomans. But there's something kind of interesting. If you look it up, as it turns out, Baban actually had a lot of uh, rivals. For example, uh, Botan, which is this one. And uh, I, I lost my list, so I don't know where the rest is. But most notably, Ardalan. Ardalan and Baban were like two big enemies from what I can tell. So here we are, we used to cheats. And now we are both free nations, me and Ardalan. And so basically, I'm gonna try to take over Ardalan. That's our whole thing right now. That sounds like it should be easy, and well it should. Ah, we're sheep people. As you can see, our primary expert duck uh, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, our primary production is uh, wool. That is, of course, because curds are actually sheep in disguise. You'd know that if you watch this one. Uh, speaking of which, hey, a card is up in the top right corner of our Ardalan game, where we play it as Ardalan. You should click that. Trust me, it's, it's, it's fun. Click it. Go, go, go. Speaking of which, we can't justify on them. Frickin' great, I hate this game. I hate this game. It doesn't let you justify on people unless you're westernized. Because I guess one of the big advents of Western technology was being able to freaking invade literally anybody. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use cheats to westernize both Ardalan and Baban so that we are able to actually do our thing. Nice. So hopefully this makes it so that if we wanted to, we could click on here and you could justify war and we still can. Yay, we have modern sail ships. This is great. We'll use them when we get to Lake Arama. Here we go. It's fixed. I think we just had to let a, let a year tick by. We could conquest them now, but of course we're not going to because they don't have, well, anything. We're just going to let them build up for a bit and we're going to do so as well. So something interesting, if we puppet everyone and then we get nationalism and imperialism, this one, which we're unlikely to ever get, we will be able to form Kurdistan and we will inherit any Kurdish nations that are, uh, well, a puppet of us. No, well, this is going to be great. Conquest. It's 1841. We're gonna count up. Let's see how many years we're gonna be at war with our land before they get one army. Oh. Okay, so they just became part of Botan then. Should've just eaten them then. Well, I guess we're gonna go back. Oh, no. Okay, they just became part of Botan again then. Alright, I guess we failed this challenge because Botan is uh, eternal. You know what? We won this war. <laughs> I'm taking their uh, cowardice and becoming a Botan as the. Um, our victory, so we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, and, um, yeah, they look pretty sexy overall, I'd say. We're just gonna sit here, like the sheepies that we are, and wait to take over Botan, I guess. Bah, bah, that's what the Kurds say. Actually, this is a Turk, but we don't actually have enough Kurds to make an army. We declared on Botan, by the way. How did we lose? We have an attack plus five, and they have no org. Go back in there. There we go. There we go. We are large. We're humongous. We have a Turkish infantry, and now we're making Ashurbani artillery. Why don't we have any Kurdish units? Hold up. What's going on over here? Transylvania. Transylvania. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's correct. There is Transylvania. What's going on with you? And there we go. They are now a puppet of Baban. You could almost say that I'm the Babonic Plague. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Bah, before your new emperors. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for a full transparency, every couple of years I'm going in, putting in debug yes men, and white piecing with these guys, because we literally just can't do anything against them. This is actually a fairly fun game, although extremely cheat heavy. Holy crap, what the heck? Uh, they're not declaring on us anymore. Did they lose their cores? Oh, it's because we're allied with Russia. Yeah, that happened because I had AI Yesmen on, but uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Just trust me. Just trust me, alright? It's not like we're going to take over anything with their help it anyways. And guess what? We are now Kurdistan. Beautiful. Beautiful purple color. Beautiful. So we have a core on this thing, Luristan. Or at least part of it. 
problem is Russia doesn't want to join. And the big question is, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to take it. It's not really a question, but I think you get the point. Oh, okay. So the Russians are going to help protect us from a certain somebody over here. Look at that. Oh, they gave us everything. Yes. It was a long and hard road, but I don't think we had to cheat anymore. So that's pretty nice. I don't think Afghanistan is going to win this war. <laughs> Wait, we could just annex these guys? Establish protect- we could literally just annex these guys. Just about the only problem is that the UK might get friendly with them and, and I, I don't really want to deal with that. So what's in here, either way? Lambs, mostly. Well, sheep. Sheep! They're Kurds! There's Kurds living here, we had to take it now! So many sheep died to get this clay. Ah, uh, when we came in, we had an army of 20k. Oh, so many have died in the in the sands. Actually, like 25k. Oh, just another thousand died there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, apparently right before we took them over that were destroyed, but uh, I think we're lucky. Oh, so many people died for that. But it was worth it. We got all the sheep. Well, this is how the world should look, if you ask me. Britain keeps on ruining my fun. Carlos Spain? What does Carlos Spain want? They're fighting Russia? Nah, 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 not what I am talking about. So, the great power ally of Russia is Italy. Please send help. Um... Some Frenchies just turned up for some reason. And they don't have a walking animation, they're just... They're just standing there, but they're moving. By the way, we had this plus 5 attack guy since the beginning of the game. He's like 100 now. He's in Clippers, by the way, in 1883. That's not gonna change. So we build up a bit of an empire for ourselves now. We're looking pretty good on the map. Not so uh, I'm not sure how long until the British try to fight us. Probably soon. But, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm happy with what we were able to do. I just want to get the rest of our cores, which will never happen, because why are they still friendly? Please. Alright, bad news. Russia just gave up on us, we don't have any allies anymore. Uh, which means that Persia and Turkey are worrisome towards us. We can't declare anybody, but hopefully, if we're lucky, they'll declare on us. And we'll be able to beat them. Maybe. But I think this is the beginning of the end for the beautiful Kurdish colonial empire. What? Why are the Portuguese here? You know, it'd be kind of cool if you could support rebels in the neighboring states. Hopefully they put that into Victoria 3, because I'm pretty sure that happens in real life all the time. No! The Bulgarians! Why are you doing this? No! No! Well, they just massacred the poor, poor revolutionaries. What are these? Oh crap. This is the problem of overseas empires. You can never get to where the rebels are. Oh, they're actually running away. Hmm. So you're saying there's a chance. Who the heck are these? Oh, yet again! Yet again, Yemen! Freaking Yemen! Just be content with my rule. I'm not even that oppressive. Please. Please. No! No! No, well, that's too bad. Alright, if we get to the 1900 and nothing has changed, we're gonna uh, break Turkey free for and, yeah, we're gonna break Turkey and Persia free from their friendlies and allies, and then we're gonna declare on them. Holy crap! Oh, that's a thick France. Let's see how their homelands are doing. Eh, well, that's normal. This isn't what the heck. What is that proboscis? Everything looks relatively normal if you ask me. Um, I mean, Africa always looks bad. I mean, really, the worst looking part of this map is, well, us. 
And we just closed down all of our factories. Great. Great. I love this game. <laughs> okay, this is the saddest crisis that I've ever seen. Russia is trying, wants Mexico to be big. The US wants, I think that's Guatemala to be big. Is this just gonna be a war against the USA and Russia? It is officially 1900, which means that according to our last promise, we can now, um, I'm not sure really what we're gonna do here. So I wanna fight Turkey. But I don't want to fight anybody else, so I just realized we cannot support our military in the slightest. So how are we going to declare war in a way so that Germany doesn't come in? I don't think we can even do that. Anyways, now Turkey should become a great power, which means that they won't be friendly with anybody. And if we just tag over to them and unally these guys, then I think that should be it. Alright, alright, I know what we're going to do. We're going to tag to Turkey. And then we're gonna declare on Kurdistan. Yay, Russia's helping us, because they're our spear leader. That was unintentional. But you know what, at this point I've sat down here for so long, I don't really care. Oh, Kurdish Patriots, come on guys, you don't have to rise up. We're, we're doing this already. We're doing this already. No! They're killing my people! Why, Russia? Why? They're on our side! No! No! Don't do it! This is a sad day for sheep everywhere. <laughs> we got everything we wanted. <laughs> um, yeah. By the way, we have all this land, but we still only have one focus point because we just have so few Kurds. <laughs> Turkey is a... Oh, we beat them, but Turkey is a great power. Oh, crap, we're at great power now. Oh, <laughs> another uh, unintentional side effect. We gave a load of prestige to Turkey. Which means that both us and Russia are now swimming in prestige, so we're a great power. <laughs> nice! Kurdistan strong. Completely legitimately, as we all know. Yeah, we should have gotten like zero prestige, but right now we have an insane amount. Yeah, we're a great power! Yeah! Woo! 866, that's that's insane for... Let's see, how much does... Um, UK throughout the entire game has acquired uh, a thousand. If we go to France, France has 262. This is insane. You know, if I cared, I'd put the prestige back down, but I just do not. Oil. Where's the oil? Let me smell it. Oh, yes, the oil. Man, this is beautiful. Look at this Kurdistan. I'm a Kurdistan. <laughs> Nice, okay, that looks nice now. We got rid of the, um... It's still a slave state, uh, which we illegalized. There we go, it's gone. Nice! Where are the liberators of the Middle East? What is Orania planning? A war to end all wars. So, some boards in the middle of South Africa. What are you planning? Tell us now. <laughs> Need to know. You know, I think this is all we're gonna be able to do. Uh, I don't have time to play on, sadly. This was a pretty fun game, uh, sadly cheat heavy in the beginning half, but pretty fun overall. And uh, if we wanted to play on, we would probably take over Iraq after these guys got free, as well as Hejaz. To do something, you definitely got to cheat in this uh, game, sadly. But anyways, that's all we have for today. Next time we're playing Baden over here, so that's going to be a short game, probably. Then again, I thought this was going to be a short one, we're in 1906. Uh, anyways, see you later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked it. See you later, hopefully.